Welcome to NewsNow, where we bring you the top stories and quick links to the full story. Today's top story is, will Biden bail? Let's get right to it. Well, concerns are also growing on Capitol Hill in the wake of President Biden's poor debate performance. While some Democratic lawmakers say that they stand firmly behind his reelection campaign, there are also some clear signs that some of his support is wavering. So Biden mega donor reportedly panicking amid growing calls about his fitness for office, but some key insiders, like our next guest, argued that putting Harris at the top of the ticket could be worse. Dimitri Milhorn telling fellow donors in a recent phone call, quote, Harris is more threatening to those swing voters than a dead Joe Biden or a comatose Joe Biden. Dimitri Milhorn is a strategist and advisor to LinkedIn founder and Biden donor Reed Hoffman, and he joins us now. So, sir, uh, Dimitri, you were pretty strong with your statement. Your statement is not, I don't think, unheard of. Most of the Democrats privately say the same thing that you decided to say. So why the pushback? Uh, so first of all, just so you know, uh, that was private. Uh, that was the end of an hour long call. And uh, people in your profession got, uh, got access and uh, reported it. Uh, and that particular quote was only in the context of uh, an extreme case. I was trying to make the point that Joe Biden has a brand, a reputation with the American public that is incredibly helpful uh, against Donald Trump. Uh, because for, uh, you know, you're a libertarian, you understand in order for the cleansing fire of an authoritarian movement like Trump's to take out all of our laws and rules, you have to persuade people that the system is broken and irredeemably corrupt. And Americans just can't unsee that Joe Biden is patriotic and honest and decent, no matter what anyone has said. And yeah. that is the thing I was saying is that uh, that brand is uh, there for Joe and it's not there for anyone else. Today, Governor Newsom will be on the campaign trail trying to shore up support for President Biden after his shaky debate performance last week. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Cabrera here in studio with the latest on this. Tony. Rachel John, Governor Newsom was one of more than 20 Democratic governors who met with President Biden at the White House last night. Governor Newsom agrees, saying he's all in for Biden, knowing Biden's all in, and he's not wasting any time. Today, Newsom is stopping in Michigan for several Biden campaign events. He'll then make stops in Pennsylvania and New Hampshire throughout the weekend. We're told he'll try to energize voters and remind them of what Democrats think is at stake this November if former President Trump wins the election. Calls for President Biden to withdraw from the presidential race are reportedly growing within his own party. In the wake of his disastrous debate, at least 25 Democratic members of Congress are said to be ready to call on Biden to step down. This comes as the New York Times reports Biden told a key ally that he was weighing whether or not to remain in the race. Les Trent reports. The president is reportedly acknowledging today that he may be forced to drop out. The president has privately acknowledged that the next stretch of days are going to be so critical to the question of whether he can save his reelection campaign. Former President Trump, uh, speaking of which, gaining two points since the debate, he now leads President Biden by eight in a new poll out this afternoon from The New York Times and Siena College. Meantime, over at CNN, take a listen to the senior data reporter, Henry, uh, Harry N. 24 percent of Republicans thought that George H.W. Bush should get out of the race. Compare that now, 32 percent of Democrats think that Joe Biden should get out of the race. The numbers that Joe Biden is facing amongst his base look a lot more like 1992 when George H.W. Bush not only stayed in the race, but he ran hard, obviously lost that November right. to Bill Clinton. The White House is hitting back. He's moving forward uh, with his campaign, and anything else that we're hearing or that's being reported is absolutely false. But there's no question there are growing signs of a mutiny from within his own party. At least 25 House Democrats are ready to call on President Biden to drop out of the race. Biden world's all-out panic over the president's re-election chances. Democratic Party strategist Melissa DeRosa is among those calling on him to go. There's a lot of anger out there right now from 
rank-and-file Democrats. Add the Biden family, top advisors in the White House and on the campaign trail, who have been with him in the room, who have been aware of this, and who have been misleading the American public. Biden's interview, coming Friday with ABC's George Stephanopoulos, is seen as a make-or-break opportunity for the president. Thanks. The New York Post editorial board with this headline, enablers have been hiding the worst of Biden's senility from Americans. It may not be so hidden now, though. A post-debate poll finding more than half of voters now think Biden should drop out after the debate. That includes nearly a third of Democrats who think Biden should withdraw. David Avella, GOPAC chairman, and Doug Schoen, former Clinton advisor, both join me now. Uh, Doug, I have to start with this, this breaking news that The New York Times just came out with. Uh, the fact that Biden has, has allegedly told an ally that he's, he's actually weighing whether to continue in the race is a huge development um, because the Biden campaign, the Biden camp has maintained no matter what hiccups um, that they've had in the past, that they are pushing through and that there's no way that he would could potentially weigh that sort of decision. What kind of pressure do you think the insiders are putting on Biden right now? Huge pressure, Julie, huge pressure. And the fact of the matter is, despite what the Biden campaign says, if the Democratic establishment, the congressional leadership, the uh, uh, root, uh, uh, grassroots of the party say he can't handle a campaign, he's not up to the job, he's too old, and the leadership of the party, uh, Presidents Obama and Clinton, the congressional leadership, say the same thing publicly or privately. Joe Biden will have no choice but to drop out. He cannot sustain a campaign if the party turns against him. And, Julie, everything I'm seeing now is that is both happening and happening with great rapidity. Please like and subscribe to keep getting headline news from both sides.